Hey everybody, this is Rod at the Dragon Wing Den. Uh, what I've got for you today is a uh, little video about storing and organizing your D&D uh, Attack Wing stuff that I sort of done a couple of weeks ago to save for a rainy day. And uh, this is a rainy day, metaphorically speaking. I was out of town last week, so we didn't get a game in then. And uh, I, had, uh, I recorded a game Jay and Jeremy did today. Um, but I forgot to erase some old files off my SD card for my camera, so I didn't get the whole game. I got about half the game, maybe a little more than half. So uh, it's pretty frustrating. It was, it was a fun game. Uh, Jeremy used the Mind Flayer, and I've been really looking forward to getting him on camera, but I don't know. I mean, I've got partial files for that game. If you want to see some of that game, I mean, you can ask about it in the comments and uh, I can I can try to post something but in the meantime here's just something to uh, hopefully tide you over uh, I think it's kind of an interesting topic just because uh, I mean the game has so many little pieces and it can be hard to figure out what to do with them all but one thing to note for the record since the video is a little old the only thing that's changed in my setup is that I finally got all my effect tokens organized and they're in my main box so uh, when you watch the videos you'll see uh, exactly what I mean by that, and uh, in any case, I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry I don't have a game, uh, complete game to put up right now. Uh, I will hopefully get back on track next week, so uh, bear with us, and uh, here's the storage video. Hey guys, this is Rod from the Dragon Wing Den. Uh, I've got a uh, midweek bonus video for you. I thought it might be fun to talk about storing your D&D Attack Wing stuff because uh, with so many components in the game and so many new components coming out all the time, it can be daunting to figure out how to organize everything and uh, where to put it. So I just thought it'd be fun to show you how I do my stuff and uh, maybe you'll uh, maybe give you some ideas, maybe you can comment, uh, tell me how you store your stuff. and. Uh, We'll just see if anyone learns anything. Um, so what I've got here is a couple of, these are like smart store containers from the container store uh, that is of course in the, in the United States. I don't know if there are container stores overseas. I'm sure there's a similar container oriented retailer where you live. Uh, but this one, let's look at this top one. We've got uh, a rule book and some uh, lists printed out from the Legion Builder, but this just has all my creatures stored in a huge pile. Uh, I sort of despair of actually organizing them in any way, and at the present time, there's not enough that it's too difficult to just root through and find what you need when you're when you're going to be playing your game. There's going to be new stuff coming in here, and it could be by the end of the year I'm going to be filled up here and be wishing that I had bought a uh, deeper, deeper box, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when I come to it, I guess. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at this other box, which was uh, previously my main box. I actually had the creatures stored in various places in here before I decided I had run out of room. Uh, this stuff over here is just miscellaneous parts that I haven't sorted yet. Uh, that's where I used to have some dragons piled up here. But over here is still just the uh, various uh, game playing components. So I've got these uh, maneuver templates in a uh, plastic Ziploc bag from a container store also. And uh, range rulers just sitting out, uh, just sitting out in the box there. I've got this uh, also from container store little flat 14 component box to store all the generic tokens you know your different actions your effect tokens and altitude tokens uh, keeps them pretty neatly divided got a little box for dice and uh, this is fun this is a uh, custom tuck box that I printed out from this uh, website uh, cpforbes.net slash tuckbox where you can uh, you can enter the dimensions of your card deck and it'll print out a PDF file of a little tuck box that you can print on cardstock and then cut out and fold and glue yourself uh, make your own little box for your damage deck 
Uh, my damage deck is uh, sleeved, so uh, the dimensions are a little larger than they would be otherwise. They're about uh, one, this is in inches, of course, uh, since I am in the United States. Uh, 1.75 inches wide, uh, 2.625 inches tall, I think, and uh, whatever 13 sixteenths of an inch is, like uh, 0.825 maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in centimeters offhand, but you can probably uh, put that into Google and convert it if you want to. If you want to do this for yourself and you live in Europe or uh, outside the States, uh, this is a little picture of Tiamat. I took the PDF into uh, into Photoshop and just slapped this picture of Tiamat from the official D&D uh, art materials on there just to give it a little, uh, a little razzmatazz. And then under this top tray, I've got these three uh, bottom trays in here that are full of uh, dials and bases. And uh, this was actually uh, Jay's idea. You know, when you buy a large creature expansion, you, it, it comes with this little baggie to hold uh, various little components. And you can just put the base in the little cardboard base, base plate and the dials and the little plastic sticks and everything you need to, you know, build up your creature for the tabletop right in that little bag. And if you haven't been holding on to your bags that came in your creature expansion, you can go on, you know, some place like Amazon or whatever and research and find these uh, four by four inch plastic baggies, plastic zip Ziploc bags. Uh, they're a little roomier and you can get like, I think I got like a hundred for ten dollars. But, uh, so that's one thing you can do. And if you've got, uh, for the small, small based ones, you can put uh, two of them per baggie. So uh, you can just... Uh, keep all your creature stuff together like that and then when you uh, when you build your list you know you just grab your creature out of your creature box and then you just uh, sort you know go through uh, you've got everything to put the creature together in one place basically so you're not sorting through multiple locations to get the sticks and the dials and the and the base so that's that so that sums up uh, almost all the components in the game, but there are a few left, and let's take a look at those now. So first, uh, let's take a look at cards. Now, if you're on the Board Game Geek forums, you know that the user Michael Graydon a while back posted a, uh, a uh, thread where he described how he sorts his, uh, his cards by upgrade type in different colored sleeves. And I have basically uh, done the same thing. I may have went uh, went a little overboard uh, in matching the sleeve colors to the upgrade colors. Uh, I did that pretty meticulously. Probably, probably not worth spending that much money on. But well, once I once I thought of the idea, I pretty much had to do it. <laughs> Got characters over here in the white sleeves, uh, maneuver cards, double-sided ones, and clear sleeves there and just the various upgrades in sleeves that match their color and so that's that's cards right there uh, but the final thing that I haven't talked about yet is effect tokens and this is something that I think is actually a fairly good idea uh, these effect tokens you know there's a ton of them and it's it's kind of hard to keep track of them all it, um, it's a little awkward to keep them just sorted and this is the best idea I've come up with uh, for me I don't know about you but uh, I put them in these little uh, 15 card snap cases and the way this works is uh, you know each snap case can hold 12 of these little tokens and uh, they can't really flip over or you know get turned over in there so I mean, you can always see exactly which tokens are in each snap case you know they can't they can't hide from you or get lost in a pile or whatever um, as you can see I've got them alphabetized so each snap case only has uh, tokens of one letter in them so that way 
uh, they're always organized I always know where to look and it's an expandable it's an expandable format I've got you know s1 and s2 here so if I have you know more than 12 tokens of a given letter then I just start a new snap case and this is not actually all my effect tokens I have some that I haven't sorted yet because I've got snap cases still coming in the mail uh, but that and I may have to graduate to a new cardboard card box at some point but uh, that's basically it and uh, hopefully this has been possibly interesting possibly informative uh, if you've got any uh, clever storage solutions let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you for our next game video.